Friends and comrades, railway enthusiasts of all ages and meridians, I welcome you back to Train Fever. This is the second episode, so let's jump right into it. Just see, I saved this one as YouTube, so that's very easy to remember. Let's just load that up and return to the uh, Old West. And there we go. So, that's it. Let's just have a look now. The first thing, of course, to do, uh, for some reason, the music always stops. I always have to restart it, and it starts at the same track again. So let me just skip a bit ahead there. So now, let's just see where we are. We can see the actual people in Riverside are starting to now use our transport line, and we can just have a look here at the specific data. Very important to always have a good overview. We can see the frequency of the... Uh, coaches, uh, they're both quite similar. So 83 seconds and 57 seconds. So you don't have to wait very long, barely a minute before the next one will pass by. Both of them unfortunately are making a loss. Uh, not nearly as much of course as the actual train. So uh, we can ignore this basically. But uh, this is something that we should keep in mind. So I think we're not going to buy any more coaches for now. These must first make a profit. The train, I think, uh, bears some further investigation. Uh, it's only been a short time, of course, that the uh, game has really been going on, so we can't judge it uh, at this point. I just want to see where is the train at the present moment. I think it's at the station here. Okay, what I want to do is to actually have another train running this line. And uh, obviously then I have to just wait for this one to reach Gainesville because I want to help them space themselves out as much as possible. Unfortunately, it's uh, not as easy as for a coach because they will just stop at the previous station and wait until the gap gets bigger before they will move again. Trains, it's because it's such a long route, it's not practical, I think. Let me just have a look. So obviously this one must just run for now. Uh, if we go back to the data here, we can see it takes about, well, it's dropping a little, 11 minutes for the uh, train to pass from Riverside to Gainesville. Now, of course, there's no uh, link between this and the date down here. So the time, uh, you can see the days are passing very quickly. So you must just keep them separate, I think. And also, I don't think uh, in real life the train will take 11 minutes to go from one town to another, unless they're really close, but this is 1850, the trains are moving slow. But anyway, this is just a guide. And I think when we actually get the frequency down, uh, so uh, quicker, then more people will be willing to start using uh, our services. So with that in mind, let's just let it run for a while we can see we've got so many people waiting now i'm really torn i'm thinking maybe it will be worth getting more coaches but you see there's a couple coming here so these are large numbers of people waiting 23 and a coach can only take four so you see it's already full by the time it gets there so is this one all right i'm gonna bite the bullet these are not very expensive so let's add two more to each of the lines just in case so this is Riverside bus and then I must just jump over to Gainesville and of course do the same thing there. One, two and Gainesville. Let's just delete to clear it all. So there are people waiting. That means we do have some excess capacity. We'll just have to watch the uh, expenses closely. We still have some excess money though. The question is where to from here? Now that these two towns are connected, they will start to, you know, really use the lines. And uh, I think that will turn profitable in time, including the coach lines. Uh, the train is almost on the other side, so I can actually get another one now. Let me just slow it down again. Buy a train and we just have three of the coaches and there we go. Great. So it'll take a moment to get to the station, allowing the other one to reach Gainesville. So the question is what now? And I think really one of the things I want to do, especially for Riverside, because that is my hometown now in this game, is to allow it to really grow. And to do that, we're going to need cargo. 
so we, if we just click on the name of the town, we can see exactly what the demand is. Uh, the cargo item supply is only three. So let me just put, pull up the uh, cargo overlay. Just see, okay. There's nothing moving on this side of the map. So I don't know where these th uh, three units are coming from. But anyway, the town wants 26. Now, I guess this is per year. So we can, doesn't matter. We'll just say per year. If I'm wrong, it might be per month. It doesn't really matter. Anyway, so 26. So there is a huge gap between the uh, demand and supply. If we just go over to Gainesville and look here. There it's even worse, uh, only one supplied and 29 demanded. So if we get cargo moving on this line, we're going to definitely uh, get some money and allow these towns to grow. Uh, the fact that we have this double line connection means that it has the capacity to also carry cargo lines uh, at the same time as the passenger ones. That's a good thing. So let's just see what is available here. We've got some oil refineries in the corner here. Some coal mines and so forth. It doesn't look like there's any very easy option, but you know there might actually be. Let's just move a little to the west here. There is an oil well. Again, it's the Riverside well. So let's support the Riverside businesses just because there is an oil refiner also the riverside one so that presents us with a very very interesting option let me pause the game actually if we just have a look where uh, are the industrial zones so the industrial zone is actually in this part of town where we had to put up the passenger station on this side it's a bit more remote so obviously again it's I think just uh, better to put the cargo station near to the industries because they are the ones demanding the cargo and I think it will still move to its destination. It does, it's just for again thematic purposes. So the best thing I think we can do is the following. Let's put up a cargo station somewhere here and unfortunately that means it's going to have to have quite a curve into the main line but the other passenger services can just continue straight I think then very interesting now so we're gonna have to have a main line running through here anyway to take the oil through the station and then somehow branching off there to the uh, oil refinery and then that will just run back and forth then a cargo train will leave here go back to Riverside and perhaps back to the oil refinery and then to Gainesville. I think that's a possibility. So let's just get the uh, line set up to the oil well. You can see it's producing absolutely nothing at the moment. And obviously the refinery is also producing absolutely nothing. But here's the thing. As soon as you connect them, they will realize that there is a uh, potential for them to actually now produce things. And they will. If we just look again, this is 27 uh, and what is this? 29. So let's just say 30 and 30. So 60 more or less. So we can see there is a potential for the oil refinery to be upgraded then because there is a demand of 60. So we know that there will be some upgrading going on. Same here as well. It's got the limit of 25, but we can ignore that because it will upgrade. So if we add another town to that uh, cargo line, it will automatically sense that it needs more now and it will start producing more. So let's look at the uh, contour lines again. Let's find that useful. Now here we can have a bit of an issue possibly because we've got this hill in between the well and the town. I am definitely going to avoid expensive tunnels in the early game. I don't think it's practical and it's definitely not affordable. So we're going to go around. That means we follow the road roughly and then you see the road automatically picks a nice area to pass through the lowest point here. Then we will we will echo that and just cross here maybe. That's where the cargo station will be and then it will join the main line back. That's a that's an idea. So let's get the uh, track building tool out and start laying some track. Actually no. First the stations. I like to know where I'm going. For this one, one track 
is perfect. We're not going to have multiple, well, we might have multiple trains running here, but they certainly shouldn't arrive at the same time. So let me just see, again, in terms of cost, just want to make it as good as possible. Let's say there, that's close enough, definitely. So we can just continue with the, this style of road, I think. It's the uh, small country road. I guess cargo moves the same speed on any road. That's something I haven't really figured out yet. So let's make a nice curved road here. Just around. Okay, very nice there. And then something like that. It must look nice, why not? There we go. So it will just go from the station and then travel down. And this is too close to have an, a wagon route running from the station. So uh, the cargo can just move on its own there. So let's upgrade the... Uh, not upgrade the tracks, let's build them actually. So this can be a very fun part of the game. You see now automatically it wants to build a tunnel through there, but I want to avoid that now. That means unfortunately we have to have quite a sharp corner, not really a corner, a curve. Let's say like that. I think it will still work out cheaper than a tunnel. So that was about, what, two, three hundred thousand? If I just for example's sake look at the tunnel, okay, it's the same price, more or less. Very interesting, can keep that in mind for the future. Anyway, I don't want tunnels at this point. Those are feats of magnificent engineering that do not behoove a oil well, I think. So we just follow the road here. Now we must be careful because you see it wants to fight us on that. And I don't want to create this situation where there's the strange dip in the road. I would rather have them cross, you know, at a level place. You just get more money. Please, sir, can I have some more? Borrow, 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 borrow. Of course it doesn't work like that in real life. And I don't know how we're doing this in the game because you need some uh, security for your loan. But anyway. Okay, this might be a problem. This might be a problem. Because we're fighting, you know, we're going perpendicular to the contour lines. Let me just see. Unfortunately, this is going to leave a scar in the landscape if we want to undo this. No, so there's a problem. There's a problem. And I can't climb fast enough. Let me just see. No, it's already on the max. Okay. Never mind with this part then. So you see there's a gouge in the landscape and I want to fix that. But let's first get the track moving. Uh, this is not going to be the prettiest uh, line I'm afraid. I want to see is there really nothing I can do. What if we cross here? Oh, much better, much better. Oh yes, that's what I want. You see, there, that looks more natural. So this part of the line... Adios. Now this is unfortunate, I have to destroy that as well. Okay, now we've got this very strange thing going on here, so I must just get the landscaping tool and uh, smooth it out a little. It doesn't cost that much, only a thousand dollars a piece, I think, more or less. 4,000 if you go a bit more, just so it looks nice. We deserve nice things in life, so let's make things nice. There we go. Just so it flows nice and neat. There we go. Good, so now we can just continue with our work. Just to go around this hill. Here we go. You might hear the parrot in the background. He's uh, sometimes very lively. 
There we go. Let's just go on. So see, this is much better. Uh, it doesn't leave such a strange gouge in the landscape. It's still quite a quite a dramatic bit of engineering, but it's not as infeasible as the other one. Now we just go around here and through here. So again, we have to do a bit of engineering. But that's very nice, and especially since this is an industrial line, I don't see that we'll ever have passengers here. It doesn't have to be very pretty, but still. I know it's there, so I want it to be pretty. Let's see, now it's going to have to start going down a lot. You know, I want to avoid this actually, but maybe this is something I can't avoid. That's potentially a problem there. You just see if we start going to the side, then of course we'll have the same problem of the road. So all right, we're gonna splurge and just build a nice bridge there. Of course it has to fit over the road. And there's the problem now. It's actually too shallow in a sense. So it's gonna have to go there, I think. All right, now for this, I definitely don't want this kind of wooden bridge. It has to be something else. Let's do a, another steel one. Let's just stick with that uh, theme, I think, for now. What I also like, I must say, if you get to the later stages of the game, your bridge styles can change quite a lot. And uh, then you can still see you have these old style bridges and then you know they were built, you know, in the 1900s. That's so nice. I like that. It's almost like having these historical features on the map that you remember constructing. Now, the uh, time for the uh, freight station has arrived, so now it's going to be a bit of an issue. Because obviously now this must connect to that and to the uh, line. Now, I'm not too sure. Is that's not going to work. Let me just uh, continue with the track a little bit. So we're basically on ground level. I don't know. Let me try this. Luckily, it's only 60,000, so if that's not going to line up, then I can just remove it again. That's one of the things in this game. You see, slope is too high. One of the things in this game that you sort of have to get used to is the fact that you're going to do some remodeling. It's uh, just the way it is, I'm afraid. Okay, it's still going to give that shadow. It's fine. I wonder if we just curve it a little like this. Now this might not work. It's too sharp. Uh, okay, I'm just going to try this. I'm probably wasting money, but I'm okay with that. I can just go and beg for the bank manager. No, that isn't going to work. I was hoping I could sort of get a turn in here. Oh dear, well, we've reached an... Okay, maybe I still can. Maybe I still can. And when it's going back, it's going to be empty anyway, so when it has to climb this hill, it's uh, hopefully going to go nice and quick. Oh dear, curvature is not going to work with me. No, it's not going to play along. Okay, well... Let me figure this out. I'll pause the video again and just sort this out and uh, get back to you. Okay, finally I'm back. I think I've got it now. The bank manager is unfortunately very angry with me because I had to go and ask for some more again. But anyway, it's done. So I've had to redo this whole thing and I took the train depot away as well because uh, it was a bit in the way. And I had to go all the way back here, which reinforces my view that you really should start with both stations and then try to meet in the middle. It seems to pay off more often than not, but anyway. So we've got this uh, bit of a gouge in the landscape again, but quite inevitable, I'm afraid. Anyway, again, it's not for passengers, so it doesn't have to be the most pretty, uh, prettiest line there. Anyway. So, uh, what's going to happen here? We obviously need the uh, oil to come down from the mountains, <clears throat> or the hills anyway, 
and then actually now maybe I must connect these two I think I'm going to have to then obviously it needs to pass straight through this uh, station or this stop here it mustn't drop off of uh, to drop the oil off here because it might actually try to move on its own from there I'm just thinking now you know maybe it will be better like this we're gonna have to test it I'm not sure what the uh, oil is going to do whether uh, the cargo system is smart enough to realize the oil must wait here for the pickup because then actually at the same time that I drop off the cargo here we can just pick up the oil and take it back to the uh, refinery that might just be uh, better then the other one can just shuttle back and forth between the uh, drop-off point here and the well because this will anyway take a long time with the uh, incline that we've got there Anyway, so let's just uh, create the drop-off point here now. So this should be easier, I'm hoping. We should be able to just uh, put it on this side of the uh, road. I don't think I want it snapping. Maybe something like that. Let's just see if I uh, made another mistake now. So what needs to happen? Obviously the train will be coming down here on the right hand side so then at this point it needs to start splitting off but uh, you see there switch construction failed so it, we just need to have the switch first uh, let me just drop it a little there then it will just go on don't know if it matters which ha side let's just keep it on the right hand side there we go it's another big gouge here but inevitable now this uh, signal thing here is going to be a bit in the way I think because if a train ever needs to stop here it might just be long enough to block that part but is it going to matter I don't know not really let's leave it actually no you know what again just for the sake of it let's move the signals a little bit further away somewhere there doesn't make too much of a difference because I want another signal here okay good so if something is on this part of the track they must wait here otherwise they can have to wait all the way back there so this makes more sense I think so now we've got this side covered the question now is do I want the train to pick up the oil here drop it off here and then go straight back with the cargo and then sort of just shuttle back and forth here or do I also want this train to go down to Gainesville I don't think so to be honest that's too too long if the cargo line takes too long uh, the cargo isn't actually gonna move I think the limit is 20 minutes or something but uh, we can always add more trains but still it might just work better to separate those so let me see now this might be another challenge so obviously I want it coming in on the right hand side there but this is the issue it's going to travel down the right hand side here and then it's going to want to cross over and I don't want it to turn into the oncoming traffic so we're gonna have to make a, uh, a track going off here and then crossing over with a bridge going to the station or is it really necessary no you know what let's just uh, take the more uh, slightly realistic option and just split the thing off there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video again and just make that connection and then I'll just be back in a sec okay that wasn't too difficult I just have to be very very careful with the signals right now because let's say the trains are coming down here now on the right hand side they just need to stop in case there's oncoming traffic on this very uh, small section here then I also want to notify this one that it mustn't continue down so any trains coming from this side from Gainesville mustn't then try to switch over to the left hand side they must keep on the right hand side so they should switch over there then and whatever's on here will be uh, fine because they'll stop here and then it will go down into the station now this might become more complicated if I have 
multiple cargo lines going between the uh, refinery and Gainesville. In that case, uh, I'm going to have to do some quick thinking, but I think for now this is fine. It should work, I think. I hope so anyway. Famous last words, I think. But anyway, time to just switch these uh, uh, contour lines off and I think the land use. The cargo I will leave on, I think, for a while. That will be very useful. I just need to make this road connection. Still country road, why not? There we go. Just a bit of a curve there. So all of the connections have been made. I really hope this is going to work. I might have made a big mistake somewhere, but uh, live and learn, I guess. Let me just connect this one as well. You see, I almost forgot about it. This one can be a more proper road, I think. Let's just see, is it possible at all? Probably not. It's going to have to go up there. No, it can. All right, good. It's cooperating at least. This is close to the factory, so the fact that it's a little bit out of town won't matter too much. Now it's the time for the actual construction. So what I first want or the uh, the trains, but first I need the depot. And I think I can just put it on this side or on the other side, doesn't matter. Let's build it closer to the town so that uh, the people who work at the depot can get there easily. Not that that matters at all in the game. Just like that. There we go. So again, with the signal, uh, just put it here. So we're getting a bit complex now, but that's all right. I think that makes it more interesting. So now we have to put up the line. That should be easy enough. I'll just say new line and one that goes from Riverside West to Riverside Sidings. So that is going to be the oil line. And I will just name it appropriately, Oil Delivery. There we go. No confusion at all. Then the next one, I think, has to be from uh, Riverside Sidings, going all the way down, passing through the station there, and then to Riverside East. So we got a lot of riversides here. All right, this I don't like. No, 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 no. This is where the diamond crossing comes in. You see, it's going against the traffic. So let me just close this. I'll call this the uh, Riverside Goods. Or Riverside Cargo. There we go. So that will also take the oil, but uh, it's mostly cargo, I guess. Doesn't matter. It's both equally, I suppose. Just here now, so that it can cross back. Okay, signal in the way. Unfortunately. Just must remember to put that back. Okay, first thing I want a signal here, and then I want a signal here. There we go. So they should move here now without any problems. Let's have a look at the routes. Okay, there it switches, but no, 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 no. I didn't make an actual switch here. So we've got another situation of oncoming traffic here. And we've got the road in the way, so that complicates things a little bit. Okay, now I must really stay on top of things. So, okay, when the... Because it's both ways now. So the trains are going to come this way. And we've got a signal there. Do I want one here as well? You know, here will be better. Take this one away. In case there's something on this stretch, they just have to wait here. All right, so they go forward like that. But then the problem is when they when they come back, it must be on this side. So this little stretch will again just mean wait there. And similarly, I think we have to just make sure that the oncoming traffic here must also wait. That's fine. It's far enough from the other signals. Great. So I think that will work. Just have a look again and confirm. There we go. As much as possible, I don't want them to use the same line both ways. They have to use the right hand side for going uh, to their destination. And then if we just sw uh, swap around again, the right hand. So 
that should work and then the passenger line will stop on the right side but the cargo will move on the left so there'll be no confusion there at all let's just see are the cargo lines still obeying all the laws yes they are excellent so that does that now we just need the oil or the cargo one to go from the uh, refinery here to Gainesville Oh, we haven't even built the station yet. All right, be back in a sec. Okay, we've got quite a nice winding uh, track going to the uh, cargo station. Unfortunately, it's cutting into the side of the hill here, but perhaps that will create the opportunity for some tunneling in the future on the way to Huntington Beach, which I think is ironically named since there's not a beach in sight, but uh, that's one of the funny aspects of the game. So let me continue on with the construction of this line. So we've got that one. We just need the other side. No. Add station. Okay. Got it. Now it's just time to go back to the uh, roots here. Let's so see what's it. Okay. It's going on the right hand side. Switching over. And when it's coming back here, they're waiting there. So it's traveling all the way on the right hand side, switching there. They'll just wait till it passes. And the same thing with the passenger lines coming from there. Everything works great. Let's just hope so anyway. Then I'll just leave the roads. So let's continue onward. And I keep saying that. So I'm sorry about that. Uh, it's been a bit of a mind bender here. I just need to purchase the trains and unfortunately we have a problem here as well <sighs> interesting interesting you know there's nothing stopping me from having another uh, depot here it's a bit wasteful perhaps but the bank manager is swarming up to me I think there we go so this is uh, Riverside is the train central I think the trains can then leave here and just go on their journeys. But first I want to actually get the delivery side set up so that the uh, railway coming or the train coming down this hill will know that the uh, oil must wait. Although at least, let's hope so anyway. Now, what must I do? What must I do? Okay, buy some trains. It's always an, a fun thing to do. Still only have the Baldwin six wheels, so I'll have to purchase that one. And then, again, this is a dual use now, so I have to get some box cars. I'm not sure how many we're going to need. Seven at the moment is what it can carry. So let's say, there, 28. So these shouldn't be too heavy. Now the tank cars. So again, we'll just take four, 28. It should work. If there's a further demand, then by the time that there's a new locomotive, we can just add more cars. So this line will be for the Riverside cargo. Yes, it should work, I think. Let's just let it run for a second. Hopefully it's not going to want to switch around here. Just continue to the next stop. Okay, it looks good. To speed it up a little bit just get that one out of the station so it's just going to the refinery first that's fine I might actually have to put a signal on this stretch of the track as well and we broke again wonderful we're actually leveraging ourselves very heavily right now which is a bit of a worry we're 7.9 million in debt and we can only go up to 10 so please uh, listen i'm very sorry but we need some more money thank you very much just sign on the dotted line okay just so that all the infrastructure is in place and we can let it run if we go into further uh, red terrain it's fine we should start making enough money to uh, dig ourselves out i hope anyway so another train and that has to be the same thing and this one is going to take now that might be interesting that might be interesting but let's try it anyway let's just see if it's gonna work this must take the cargo from the refinery to the uh, 
Gainesville station. I haven't set that up yet. I think this is going to be a long episode. New line. No, I did set it up. I just never named it. There we go. Gainesville Cargo. And then I'll just set that. Perfect. So the problem now, of course, is that this, this Gainesville cargo line is going to also want to come in here. And there's no connection there. So I have to just make one quickly. Unless, you know, it should work. Because it should just continue on to Gainesville. Let's just see. Am I right? Yes, it's, it's running. Okay. I was worried. Now here we start to see the... Uh, benefit of having all these uh, signals and things so now this train must wait but luckily the next signal is not far so it does benefit us to have regular signals the other one is already coming back so now I should just be able to buy the oil train and we're almost out of money again tank cars so for this one let's see which one is faster? Obviously this one is closer, so it's going to take longer to deliver oil, so we need more during that delivery. Let's make it a nice round, well it's hardly round, but anyway, nice eight. Eight will do. And like I said before, when it's going up, it's going to be empty, so it will anyway be easier for it. Oil delivery. Okay, I think things are running smoothly now, at least I hope so. I think that's it. Okay, we'll just let this uh, episode come to a close right now. And in the next one, we can see if it actually works or uh, if this is the end of the series. So, thank you for bearing with me. Uh, see you in the next episode. Keep well.